Holy God, speak to us. What has been told from the beginning? Your word that is the foundation of the world. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Have you not known? Or wait. Has it not been told to you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? Is it he who sits above the circle of the earth? And its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them like a tent to live in, who brings princes to naught and makes the ruler of the earth as nothing. Scarily are they planted, scarily sound, scarcely has they stem taken root in the earth. When he blows upon them, and they wither, and they wither, and the tempest carries them off like a stubble. To whom they will you compare me, or who is my equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. He who brings out they, their host and numbers them, calling them all by name, because he is great in strength, mighty in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is everlasting God the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unreachable. He gives power to the faint and and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will, will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall, run, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The word of the Lord. Please read the psalm responsibly. Praise the Lord, you peoples. How good it is to sing praises to our God. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Israel. God heals the brokenhearted and binds up the wounds, their wounds. Our God takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in God's steadfast love. A reading from the book of First Corinthians. If I pre- proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting, for an obligation it is laid on me, and woe betide me if I do not proclaim the gospel, for if I do, this is of my own will, I have a reward, but if of my of not of my own will i am entrusted with a commission what is what then is my reward just this that in my proclamation i may make the gospel free of charge so as not to make full use of my rights in go- the gospel For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I might win more of them. To the Jews I became as a Jew, in order to win Jews. To those under the law I became 
as one under the law, though myself am not under the law, so that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law, I became as one outside the law, though I am not free from God's law, but under Christ's law, so that I might win those outside the law. To the weak, I became weak, so that I might win the weak. I have became all things to all people, so that I might by any means save some. I do not I do do it all for the sake of gospel so that I may share it in its blessings the word of the lord